Hello there. My name is Carlos Arteaga from Cisco Tech. Today, I will show you how to configure threat detection for remote access VPN services on secure firewall threat defense managed by the firewall device manager. Please note that this feature is available starting with the FDD versions on screen and newer. For this example, we are going to work with an FDD on version 7.4.2.1. However, the procedure is the same for the other versions. Let's get started. First, we need to create a flex config object. For this, we need to navigate on the FDM to advanced configuration, then to view configuration. On the left panel, let's go to flex config, then select flex config objects. Create a new flex config object by either clicking on the add button on the top right or by clicking on the create flex config object button if no other object is already created. Give it any name that you wish. On the template configuration body, let's type the required threat detection parameters. This is just a configuration example. The final configuration parameters can be modified according to each use case. The negate template configuration is not mandatory. However, it is highly recommended configuring it to avoid future deployment issues in case the feature needs to be disabled. On the negate template configuration body, we may use the same configuration as above, but this time adding a no command at the beginning of each line and removing the specific configuration parameters as shown. Next, click on OK and then navigate to Flex Config Policy. On Group Policy, click on the Add button. Select the Flex Config object that was just created. Click on OK and Save. We may now proceed deploying the changes. This configuration can be validated from the FDD CLI as shown. In case this feature needs to be disabled, we may just remove the flex config object from the policy and deploy the changes. The configuration removal can be validated from the FDD CLI as shown. This completes the desired configuration for this video. Feel free to contact Cisco support if any additional information is required. Thank you for watching.